Hey everyone, Zef here, welcome to Vampire The Masquerade Justice Overview. This looks hella cool, especially that I remember the original Masquerade that was a very interesting and unique game for its time. And now we're getting something more action-packed but in VR, which was definitely needed. <laughs> so Vampire The Masquerade Justice is an action stealth game where you dive into the criminal activity in Venice, striking from the shadows and picking your targets one by one, with a mission to become the greatest vampire ever. I'm also familiar with the series Dishonored, which is very much present in this trailer, and I think Fast Travel Games is very smart going in that direction. It claims to be an open-ended narrative RPG, so this pretty much seems to be a perfect fit for me. Now, in terms of the graphics, I think this is fine, because there's definitely some Venice vibe, which I've been to, actually, and it's all about the canals and the streams between the bridges. This is definitely gonna be an intense experience, and I very much appreciate that. I feel like in this specific case, it can't play safe, and and they should be going for the big guns with the locomotion and vampirish mechanics like from the first impressions there are a lot of good things going for it it will essentially come down to the fact if everything is working properly and i feel like the story will be compelling enough since it's coming from the world of darkness universe november is definitely starting with a bang and it only seems like a beginning so it's very exciting to see <laughs> let's become the vampire I know it is customary for an elder to give fledglings an introduction into the world of the kindred. Unfortunately, you'll have to make do with me. You know me already. I'm Justice. It's not my real name, but I'm not sure that's important to anyone anymore. It certainly isn't for me. Mahmoud, my sire, gave me the nickname. At first just to mock me, then to keep me on the path, as he used to say. Eventually I embraced it. It's what drives me, and it's only natural that I identify with it completely. I, like you, am a child of Hakim. Our services were called for at times by the New York Kindred Lords, but mostly we followed our own agenda. We killed for the greater good, and we kept to ourselves among the ancient texts and relics he had found over the centuries. And then he was killed, and one of his most prized relics was stolen. I inquired among the Camarilla, but no one offered any help. Too busy playing their own power games. I mean, now seeing the graphics, it's not that good. <laughs> That's when he contacted me. Said someone in the Hecata was behind it. That if I wanted justice... I should go to Venice. Your local leaders, they're afraid to stir the pot. Maybe something unseemly floats to the surface. It's all politics, of course. Why commit to something today that might bite you in the ass tomorrow? Why am I moving like that? Venice, Italy. There was a Nosferatu waiting for me there, the low ground, someone that could help me. But Kaiser said he did have an agenda of his own. I mean, this is accurate. It's very much Venice. There was no love between me and my sire. Every sunrise I cursed him for the life he gave me, but he was right about one thing. The guilty must be punished. I knew that someone had to pay and a Nosferatu named Pietro would lead me toward them. Maybe you can find a way to help each other. Oh, and if you make it back, do remember who gave you the tip. Now that I've scratched your back, maybe you can scratch mine. Wait, but I can't grab anymore? Ah, flick my wrist. You need to be very precise with it, but with the physics, it's nice. This might be the case that it's gonna be way better to play it on PC VR. Though there is an atmosphere, that's for sure.
There's nothing upstairs. Tourists go home. Apparently nowadays it's a problem. <laughs> I mean, the accuracy could be a bit better because you need to be like in certain position to grab it. Building climbing. Can I climb by anything? Oh, yeah, this very much seems like this honor to me. Who's there? Locals. <laughs> Doing the best to ruin everything. Yeah, pretty much. Well, the game's gonna be very dark, so. I see his heart. The rain had been pouring down for months and had just let up. The whole city was breathing a collective sigh of relief. It was cold and humid. But I felt something else in the air too. Something unnatural. Like the city itself was trying to keep me away. Uh huh. First victim. That's right, though. though. Rats. Ew. I can't even grab him, though. Yeah, that works. Oh wow. Damn. <laughs> I'm sure nothing will happen tonight. Gotta stay sharp. Pull away at the right time? No one's getting It was a little bit awkward, especially because I can't grab a dead body, which is very weird to me. Where do I go?
It's nice that we can just fall and then teleport while in air. Any action in your location? Discipline wheel. I mean, I can't turn. So, uh, you think we're gonna get any visitors tonight? While holding this, so. It's also a bit awkward. That's the thing with multiple control system. I can't necessarily grab rats, so I need to chase them down. <laughs> I almost fell. Ah, uh, here's the hunger. I don't need to do anything. It's supposed to be a stealth game anyways. Can I like blink and then have a cloak? But then I need to press two buttons at the same time. I think oh, let's there. This ends now, intruder. Uh, uh. Are you sure? So it doesn't work. <laughs> the key I'm definitely hesitating too much. It's quiet here. Just the usual rat scurrying about. Damn it. Yeah. Not much too hungry. The combat is a bit... I don't know, <laughs> like... At least you can do whatever. Damn, everything's closed. I see. I killed them already. <laughs> Wait, there's still someone? It's 
So it does work when you fall from something, but not when you blink. Oh, this is max HP, okay. Something in the air. Something uncanny. The opposition I faced was far stronger than it should be. Mere mortals shouldn't have put me in actual danger. I would do well not to underestimate my new enemy. Where am I even going? Ah, this tooltip is not that apparent, it's very subtle. <laughs> it's just so funny to see that. But I wish I would drink them from the ground, like, I'm losing an opportunity, essentially. Okay, but pretty much I have to stop here, and I think this is pretty cute. It's basically all about the vibe and the atmosphere in the game. Some mechanics are a little bit funny to me, especially the ragdolls, and the actual in-hand combat seemed kinda, like, awkward, but... I suppose it's not necessarily the point of the goal to actually be in close combat and do a full brawl, like you need to sneak and then drink the blood and feel the vampire's nature. I just wish that after killing them we would be able to pick them up actually physically and then drink something to just replenish some part of our like canisters. Because we essentially lose the opportunity so we either have to choose between actually sneaking up and then sucking them off, which is also a bit awkward because you kinda need to lean into them. I mean, it makes sense, but locomotion-wise it's a little bit weird, but the overall game definitely conveys the masquerade universe and one day we might continue this, and not for now, cause of course I'm very busy, but I like overall the direction that's going.